Hi, I'm Dave Bergman, and I'm bringing to you this week's Technical Question of the Week. Uh, the question for IPC this week is, how small can my conductor width be per IPC standards and still be acceptable? The answer is it somewhat depends, and we need to show you a little bit. I'll give you an example as to how to make the ultimate determination. The specification is IPC 6012B, and the paragraphs that are in reference are 3.5.3 and 3.5.1. Now, as the, as the uh, customer defining the original product, they're going to be providing a conductor pattern. With that conductor pattern, how you're controlling that width is what you say about it on the master drawing. So let's say you say absolutely nothing. Okay, so your conductor pattern, you've made a conductor on your circuit board, and let's say it's 20 mil or, or uh, half a millimeter. All right? Now, if you say nothing on the master drawing, IPC 351 says it can be 80% of this. So you take your 80% of this, and so now your minimum is 0.4 millimeters or 16 mil. Paragraph 3.5.3 then addresses some defects to look at now my 0.4 millimeter conductor to determine what happens there. It allows a further 20% reduction. So I have my 0.4 millimeters and I take my 80% and I'm at 0.32, sorry, 0.32 is my final conductor. Now, that's what you get if you say absolutely nothing. This would be your absolute minimum acceptable per the, the uh, IPC specification. Now, what if this doesn't work for you? This is, that's too much reduction. I can't find that to be acceptable. What do you need to do? Well, first thing you can do is you can say something when you're master drawing. So, rather than just giving the conductor pattern, you would put, say, okay, I have this conductor, and it is indeed a minimum of 0.55 millimeters. What that does is that it takes this requirement and removes it from the table, because you've now defined something on your master drawing. However, this reduction of 80% is still allowable, so I would have my 0.5 in this case times my uh, 80%, and now in this case, it's 0.4 millimeters would be your minimum. Okay, so that's still, if you're still unhappy with that, what you really should do is be very specific on the master drawing and indicate that this original is whatever value you want to be a minimum. So if you want half a millimeter, you should say, I want my conductor minimum to be 0.5 millimeters inclusive of all defects. So what that says is that you will allow defects, but you don't want that conductor to be any smaller than 0.5 millimeters. So if you want to be control of your end product and your end conductor uh, width, you should be very specific on your master drawing.